Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about home screen widgets, a big feature when it was released on iOS 14, but nowadays it seems like the interest on home screen widgets has dropped a lot. That's mainly to Apple not actually changing anything about them in the past two years. But of course, they're all widgets that are really useful and you must have them on your device. So in this video, I will show you guys 10 of those. All right, now before we get into the video, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you're watching my videos and you find them useful, please make sure you do so. It really helps out a lot. And we're starting things off with all my batteries. This is a new app that has recently been released and it's a very, very useful widget. It allows us to have all of your batteries in one place. So all the different devices that you might have. So here I will have the battery for my iPhone, my Apple Watch, my MacBook, and even my AirPods Pro. This is really useful. And you can choose which devices you wanna see here. So with this widget, you can have three. With this one, you can have up to four. You simply three to touch on the widget, go to edit widget, and right here we'll have the chance to go ahead and select from your devices. Now, of course, these can be added by going into the app. So you go into the app, you tap the plus button, and you can go ahead and add your Apple device through your Apple ID, a Bluetooth device, or a custom device as well. You can even customize these, change the icon that you see for any of these. So if I go to my AirPods Pro right here, you can see I have the device name, I can change that. I can enable notifications for the battery and even choose an icon right here, which is really cool. So you can customize them. And then of course they will show up right here. Now you can see on the list here, we have the percentages, we have the devices as well. And this little icon, which indicates that the battery percentage for that device has not been updated because it has been disconnected. So in this case, I don't have the Bluetooth turned on on my my Apple Watch is not connected, so it won't actually show the current battery percentage. Next up is MD Vinyl. Now this is the most useful music widget you will find for your iPhone. A music widget that actually allows you to control your music from the home screen. I did a review on this app before, it is really amazing. And if you're looking for a widget for your music, this is the one to get. It supports Apple Music and Spotify as well. Most people will use these two services. And what you can do, have these widgets on the home screen. So you will have here the smaller one, you can see how cool that is. And it actually animates right there, you can see it rotates, which is really cool. And you will have this one with the controls. Of course, you can skip forwards, backwards to the other song, you can like a song, or you can pause and play right here. You can see you even have that gr green dot right there, which indicates whether the music is playing or not. And then on this one, you can 3D touch and actually show the controls as well. So if you just enable that, you can show the controls and even the love button. And of course it works from here. So all these widgets are interactable. You can work with them, stop playing music, start playing music and switch between different songs. Next up is Days Since. Now this is really useful as well. All of us have important days that we wanna keep track of, like the day we started exercising or we gave up junk food. And you can have them on your home screen. Now some people might think this is not useful, but just seeing those dates and the, date, uh, the days as you progress actually motivates you a lot and helps you a lot. So you can have right here anything you want. So you have the smaller ones, you can simply tap right there, edit the widget and choose what you wanna see here, which of your counts Counters, you tap there and you select a counter from your counts that you have added on the app and of course it will change that you can have multiple of those or you can have the medium or the bigger widget and display more counters now you can add these of course by going into the app you can just go here to the counters tablet plus button and then just enter the details for your counter pick a color and you're good to go next up is phone usage now this is a free app that offers a ton of different widgets with a ton of different information. Like right there at the top, we have device info, so we have the battery, CPU usage, and also the RAM memory usage. Right here we have the memory, we have battery, and then we have the storage right here. I don't know why, but Apple still hasn't added like these widgets to iOS. That would be really useful seeing your memory, your storage, maybe your seller data usage. That would be a great widget to have on the home screen. Fortunately, we have this app that offers a ton of widgets. Let's just quickly jump to the widget panel. Let me show you guys what it has to offer. 
so you can see right here jumping into iphone storage widgets you can see we have a ton of different widgets that we can add to the home screen like all kinds of different widgets with different informations like your wi-fi maybe your network data usage and you will have your device right here the one that we showed on the home screen and you will have a lot more here that you can select and add to your home screen Next up is photo album. I know there are a ton of apps that offer photos on the home screen. We also have the default photos widget on iOS, which is trash, by the way. It doesn't work as it should, of course. It doesn't let you select how fast you want to change photos and also which photos you want to display there. But this app is the one to go with. It has all the features you need. Right here you can see I have two different widgets. You can have the smaller ones, medium and the bigger ones and select which photos you want to display and how fast you want them to change. First of all, you go into the app and from here, all you have to do is just go ahead and create an album and pick the photos from your photo library. You can see here I have two different albums with of course different photos. So when I go to the home screen, add the widget, simply 3D touch on the widget, tap here, choose which album you want to see there and choose here the photo change cycle. You can go from one minute up to 24 hours and have the photos change on the home screen. And now that we're done with those five apps, we're moving to five other widgets. These are all from the widget app, which is by the way, the most like useful widget app. You can have a ton of different widgets that you can find there, which are actually really cool. Now this one is pretty simple here, but if you just like to have like a minimal setup on your home screen, this is the one to go with. What it does, it displays the current date and day. And of course it shows there the battery percentage and at the top you will have the status of your wi-fi bluetooth cellular data and vpn as well so if you just want to see some basic information on the home screen of your device that's the widget to go with we're moving on to the second widget from widget this one is very useful you can see you have a bunch of different information right here First of all, you will have here four different sections and you can switch between them directly from here. I will show you guys that in a second. On the first one, on the today's view, you will have your activity, you will have your news and system data as well. Right here, you can see extra, so you will have your weather, battery percentage, steps, reminders, and also events as well. If I just want to change to my agenda, I just tap right there. You can see this is actually interactable and it lets you switch between different sections and display different information. We have hear the music and you will have the weather as well pretty cool and actually being able to switch between different views directly from here it's really interesting moving on to the third widget from widget and this one displays your settings on the home screen you can see how cool this looks so you will have your wi-fi bluetooth and you will have your cellular data even though it's named wi-fi there you will have your vpn and battery and it actually works so if i tap on battery it will take me to the battery settings this is really awesome and not just that you can also tap here and you can go to your apple id on the settings app and you can tap that arrow right there to switch to other settings so you will have your passwords safari music and you will have your privacy accessibility wallpapers and sounds and haptics so again if i just tap there it takes me to the sec section on the settings app this is really cool and pretty useful if you, if you just want to have your settings displaying on the home screen and a quick way to go to your settings you can just go ahead and add this widget now the fourth widget from widget is one of my favorites you can see how good this looks on the home screen of your device and you will have a bunch of different information here like the weather the percentage of the brightness on your iphone the volume you will have the date and also the charging status and you will have here a bunch of different icons for some apps that most people use on daily basis and the good thing about these icons is that they actually work so if i tap on one of them it will actually open that app so they are not just displayed playing there they actually work and you can tap any one of those and open that app directly from the home screen and last but not least is this mac os style widget you can see how cool this looks on the iphone so what you have here is the dock of the mac you can see how good that looks you can of course tap on it and it will open the app on which you tap you will have your music here you will have your storage your seller data upload and download and then you will have the battery brightness and also the status of your wi-fi bluetooth 
we have their airdrop seller data and also the focus mode as well and right there it will show you the weather and steps as well so pretty cool widget to have displaying a bunch of information and allowing you to open any of these apps directly from the widget so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the widgets and the video leave a like if you did don't forget to subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one